What is up you guys? It is Jessica doing things differently and today I have for you guys a Romway haul. -ho. Say hello. He's everywhere. Uh, say hello to my little friend. Let's go ahead and do the shout out of the week. And today's shout out goes to Rose Myers. Thank you so much for always commenting. I appreciate it so much. Um, if you guys can't see, I did put up a little post asking if you guys would want to see a video called TikTok made me buy it. Now, obviously, I am not the first one to do it. I am not going to be the last one to do it. It is a very popular video going around on TikTok, on YouTube, you know, everywhere pretty much. Um, and it's just things that TikTok made you buy because it's nonstop ads on TikTok sometimes. But you know what? Some of the things are really good. Hey, if you guys want to see it, let me know down below. All right, you guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this video, shall we? Let's go. All right, so it's a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. Um, I mean, we got some purses, we got home decor, we got storage slash organizational things. We have some lingerie, I think, in here. We have, like, we just got a whole slew of stuff. Let's go ahead and go with this one because it's the biggest one. The biggest one in my way. So this is a little purse, super cute, and it was like $3 or something like that, super cheap. I do apologize, you guys are gonna see a lot of voodoo running one. out in it. You guys are gonna see him running out and in and out and in. This is his hyper time. Ugh, I didn't know he was gonna be like this, but hey, what can he do when he got a kitten, you know? I could lock him out, but then he's gonna meow and make me feel bad. I don't like that. All right, so here it is. A cute little purse, so cute. And it feels, all jokes aside, it feels actually like good quality. It is much thicker um, than some of the purses I've gotten for a little bit cheaper. For example, this purse here, it's a nice purse and there's nothing wrong with it, but it's just really, really thin, you know, material and it almost feels cheap because it's so thin in comparison. Do you see that this one right here is a little bit thicker? Not much thicker, but it just has some, um, has some sturdiness to it, if that makes sense. So I think that these are both from either Shein or Romway and... They're very, very similar in the sense like of the size and stuff like that. But you open these guys up and you look on the inside of them. Again, even, even this right here, it's like paper thin. But this one got a little bit of structure to it. Do you, you see? It's not like terribly noticeable. It's enough of a difference to, to feel. Another thing that I liked about this white purse is the fact that it does not have a chain strap. I feel like sometimes chain straps can can make that purse appear more dressier than I want it to be when I'm wearing it. Does that make sense? So if I'm a little bit dressed down and I want just like a small purse to carry with me, I don't want like a chain strap because that's going to make it look more dressy. So this right here is awesome. A way to get these, if they're super stiff when they come and you see how they sort of look a little bit wrinkled, a way to get this unwrinkled or unstiff is just throwing it in the dryer on like a wrinkle release or warm for a second and just kind of letting it tumble around. <clears throat> that way it unstiffs itself. It has a little baby pocket in the front right here. And then on the inside, there are no pockets. It's just one, um, one big pouch. And then you snap it shut and it's like a magnet. Isn't that so cute? And again, for the price, it's awesome. So then we have these little things right here that they strap on the side. You just strap it on like that. And there you are. Cute little Percy parts. And what I also like is the fact that this is adjustable. So you can make it much shorter, much taller, whatever you wanna do. And I think that that's awesome because a lot of times it is too short and a lot of times it's too long and you don't have that option, especially with the chain purse to make it shorter or longer for that matter. For me, if it's under $5, the quality can be a little bit crappy. I'm almost expecting it to be a little bit crappy. Do you know what I mean? But this right here, it genuinely is good quality, like genuinely, and I really like it. So, all right, enough about that. All right, so I had quite a few of these. I have one, two, three, four of them. Let me open this up and show you. This is basically an organizer and you can do it for your socks, your underwear, your bras, whatever you want it to be for. You can just organize smaller items. Um, so maybe crop tops even. It just depends on like obviously what your size is. But look at that. 
and, and again, decent quality. It's not terrible quality. Um, it's like a mesh feeling right here. And I also like that it's see-through on the side. Don't know if it'll make that much of a difference when I have it wherever I have it at, but the fact that it's see-through and you can see it from the side, I can appreciate because if it's just sitting here like this and you have to pull the whole thing out to get something, I mean, it's not a big deal, but because it's mesh kind of gives you a little bit more give, I guess. So I'm going to fill this up with a few things and then we will see what it looks like. All right. So I have it filled and right here is like a shirt like this. Uh, right here is like a full mesh bodysuit, pair of thick socks, just a little bralette. More of a bigger bra, something that I thought wasn't going to fit in here, but I actually did fit it in a lingerie set, and then a pair of ankle socks right there. So I just put a variety of different sized items in here to kind of show you what fit, what doesn't, um, you know, what would work better and what wouldn't work. But I thought that this was interesting because if you guys can see, look how big this is. So this is just a normal regular bra that I, again, I think I got off Sheena Romway, and it's pretty big in the fact that like it's, it has a little bit of padding to it, um, it's more of like a full coverage bra and it's not that small. Like it doesn't fold up that small. So the fact that that actually fits in there and you still have room for other things is awesome. The one thing I will say is this right here is a wired bra and because it's wired, I can't like squish it in there, but it still fits. So that's good. And then these right here are a pair of like thick wool socks and they fit in here. So I don't know, I think that's awesome. I have about four bins of socks, underwear, bra, lingerie, et cetera, et cetera. And I have to go through them and decide what I'm gonna keep and what I'm not gonna keep. And I just needed some organization. I don't know if anybody else has this problem. When I put things in bins, it feels like I can't ever find anything when I wanna find it. You know, everything kind of gets meshed together and and entangled and, and and everything looks the same and you can't figure out what's what and I'm just not a fan of that. So I got these in hopes that they'll work. You can't beat it. Better than the dollar store and it has the quality of Shein or Runway. So can't beat it. All right, let's go ahead and see what we have next. Next we have this little guy. This is in a size medium. It is a little pink number. So it's just like that. So it's kind of mesh, like a mesh lace. The closure is a regular clasp closure and then it does have adjustable straps, which is always nice. It sort of looks like it has a wire underneath the cup, but it's not. It's like a fake wire. The bottoms, which are pretty thong-like-ish, um, and they are adjustable on the straps, which let me tell you what. I think I said this before in a different video. Every underwear that are like this with like the strings, even if they don't have the strings, even if they're like thicker bands, we should try to find a way that we can adjust the straps around your hips because I'm telling you, it'll fit so many more people and that's what we want, you know what I mean? The quality on that's not the best, but we'll get into that when I try it on. Next, we have this guy. And this, again, looks like it has a underwire, but it does not. The back closure is the normal prong one and then again, the straps are adjustable and then the bottoms are really cute in the front. It has that cute little design right here that matches the front of that and then the back right there is a thong but it's mesh in the back so very cute very cute love it and I'll talk about them a little bit more once I try them on this is I think I've showed you guys this before and I liked the one that I had gotten before so much that I decided to get another one you guys have seen it before you put the little god this thing it's very hard to get together but you put that together like so and then you take this and it has a little opening here and you just put it right here and then you can slide it so it can go like this or you can slide it around to come up to the top or you can slide it around to go there or there. So you could do it anyway. And then you just do a line of hangers going, it saves a lot of space in your closet and it's just really, really good for organization. I have a lot of clothes that I don't necessarily wear all the time. And there's some things that, you know, like, like coats, jackets, fancy dresses, that kind of stuff. You don't really wear those too often. So that can be stuff that you put on this and you hang it in the back of your closet and it saves so much room, especially for bulkier items. Love it. All right, so moving on, we have these. Now, 
Let me get this out of the package because it's really loud. So I have already taken one or two of these and hung them up because um, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what it would look like and how I would actually have it in real life. But there's a lot of other ways that you can use this too because it's really, really long and the, the, the leaves, they don't really look that shiny and fake, which I actually really like. So here's a close up of them. And this, the light is shining directly on them. So they kind of look a little bit shiny just because of that. But in hindsight, they're really, really not shiny. So the one single strand is just like this. The strand itself is as long as I am. And they were only like a dollar or something like that. So I was like, why not? Moving on, we have this. This is a nice little dainty, cute necklace. It's not bulky. It's just one of those real cute... Um, simplistic ones that you can wear with anything but here is this necklace it's just a simple little lock and I think that's so cute very simplistic very cute not bulky goes with everything you can wear with whatever you want next we have these guys and it's a set of two so there's five in each pack and this is going to be perfect for when I take these nails off here I will take a cotton ball and soak it in acetone and then this is a clip and you put the cotton ball with your nail in there and you keep all, all of them on your fingers um, for I don't know how long. And then when you take it off, the nails come off that much better because these are those dip nails that you put on like the, the tip, the nail tip, and then you dip it in the powder. I got a set off Amazon for less than $20, I believe. They work really well. I had to get the hang of them the first time I did them, but the second time I did them, it was like perfect. This is what they look like. Yes! So these are going to be perfect. I completely forgot I got these. So I'm so glad I just opened this package because I was wondering to myself, how the heck am I going to get these nails off when I want to redo my set? Yeah, they look pretty cute. They're a little bit bumpy. So I got to figure out how to um, get them a little bit better. All right. Next we have this guy. I don't know what this is. Oh, I think these are my bracelets. So if I'm correct, these are five bracelets. Why they put them all in the same container, I don't know. But here is the first one. And our last one here, very strappy. I'm not gonna love this one. So I think when I bought this, I didn't really realize that I didn't like the whole frilly stuff, um, like this stuff. I didn't think, I didn't realize I didn't like that, but here it is. It's very cute. It's mesh, um, has some frilly stuff right here. The straps are adjustable, little frilly side details. It is a thong. And then we have this, which goes around your waist and then the bottoms go down at like a garter belt. So, so let's try these few things on and then we'll go ahead and end this video out. All right, so here this is. I really like this a lot. I think it's very cute. It's very fitting. Um, it's very comfortable. It, it honest to God feels like I'm not wearing anything at all, which is great because that's sort of what you want with this kind of stuff. You want it to be comfortable and sexy, cute. But ultimately for me, I want it to be comfortable. And this hands down definitely is. Normally I don't go for pink, but I went for pink this time and I'm glad I did. I don't think this is gonna be something that's gonna hold up in the washer and dryer. So I would suggest getting those delicate bags that you put your socks in so that you don't lose them in the washer and dryer like we often do. But they're like little mesh uh, bags that zip up and you just throw your delicates in there as they get dirty, zip them up, throw them in the washer. And I would suggest not drying this because I'm gonna be honest, the quality, <sighs> The quality is not terrible, but it's not wonderful either. And I can definitely see this one getting... So I could definitely see this getting somehow damaged in the dryer from drying it. So I would 100% suggest hanging it to dry, which won't be an issue. It'll probably dry within 20 minutes because it's so light. But let's go ahead and see what the next one looks like. All right, so here is this one. This one, it's okay. Um, I don't like the whole thick band right here. But I just don't like thick bands on any um, type of lingerie sets. I think that for me, this is me personally, unless they're boy shorts, then I don't want them to be thick band right here. Um, or unless they're, 
is getting into stuff. <laughs> or unless it's something like, um, you know, that time of the month underwear, then I don't mind it because I want it to be comfortable. I love the fact that this right here matches with this right here. I absolutely love the color. So the material just feels a little bit on the stiff side and not so smooth and comfortable. And you know what I mean? That's the only downfall, but I wouldn't even consider that a downfall because in reality, it's very, very minimal. Van Ness. Van Ness. All right, here is this one. Um, okay. So like I said, frilly things, mm, don't love it. Don't hate it, but just don't love it. Ugh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. So the cups themselves don't feel like they fit. They feel like a little bit too small, like they should be bigger, but they should be bigger going this way. And like this should be opened a little bit more and like have a bigger gap. The cups just feel too close together. I could get past this frilliness if the cups sat differently, maybe. The bottom frillies, I don't hate. I'm not, I'm not not a fan. I don't, I don't just like the bottom frillies. It's just something about the top ones. I tuck this in. So without the frillies up top, yes, I could do that. So this had a second piece on it. So let me go ahead and put that part on and we'll show you what it looks like. All right. So here is the bottom piece, the little garter belt thing. It is a little bit wonky right here, but whew, it just took me forever to get these things on because you gotta put this part on and then put your feet through each one of these and wheel it up just a little bit by a little bit until you're finally in it. Okay, so I don't really think that this part goes with this, you know? It could just be me. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it goes higher. Maybe. I don't know. Um, the one good thing about this is, is that this piece here is adjustable and these pieces are adjustable. They're not only adjustable on the thigh, but they're also adjustable here. So you can, you know, make them longer, shorter, however you want to make them. They can definitely go higher, lower, you know, whatever. But I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't really think it goes and and maybe does it go like this to be completely honest i'm not a hundred percent sure the right way maybe these should go in the back but i can't really show you the back so you know use your imagination okay i'll see if anybody has any reviews up and then if so i'll put it up and just blur out their faces but yeah i don't know Ugh. i don't know i don't know all right, you guys, and that'll do it for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed everything. There's some really useful things in there. I can't wait for the finger things. I will keep you guys updated on either TikTok uh, or Instagram or possibly even Facebook um, on how those worked. If you guys would like short reels on here, let me know because I can do that as well. Um, just do like, you know, quick little five, 10 minute videos. I don't mind doing that. So just let me know. If you guys are not yet subscribed, please consider doing so. Make sure you hit that bell for notifications for every time I upload another video. And make sure you guys like and comment. All right, you guys, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye!